Welcome to the Life Taco Podcast, social media influencer, Jake Garcia. How are you doing? I'm doing good. How about you? Nice. I'm, I'm doing good. Uh, earlier today, I recorded with a um, Bulgar- Bulgarian stallion trainer, so that was pretty interesting. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they like He like trains wild horses so that people can uh, can ride them more easy or something. I was like, what yeah. the heck? <laughs> but um, yeah, so let's talk about you. Um, uh, how old are you? I'm I'm 14. Oh, you look older. That's funny. Yeah, I know. I get that a lot. <laughs> yeah, so you live in Texas? Yeah, I live in Texas. Uh, I live in like a really small city. Oh, really? It's um, it's like two hours out of San Antonio. It's like, oh. yeah, it's like two hours out. If you're from a small town, you must be like real famous around there then. Because like, uh, yeah, kind of. <laughs> kind of. Everybody calls me famous, kind of. <laughs> So yeah, um, tell us about when your social media started taking off. Um, probably like the start of this year, maybe like March is when it really started taking off. That's right. when it was like start blowing up, blowing up. Yeah, and how did that happen? You just just randomly or, or what? Oh, I remember I was walking to. I was well, I was me and my friends were walking to the track, right. And I was like, hey, let's take some pictures. I took the pictures, posted them, and they, like, kind of did good. So I just kept taking pictures and kept taking pictures. And literally, like, probably two weeks after I took that picture at the track, that's whenever um, I hit 10K, I remember. Huh. Why do you think it took off for? They just think girls think you're cute or what? <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> uh, your friend can pop on if he wants to. Yeah. Uh, uh, but uh, yeah, I saw you on a live last night with Matthew Valenzuela. Yeah, well, I joined for a quick little minute too. Yeah, are you guys good friends? Uh, yeah, he's a pretty close friend. I I hanged out with him probably like four or five times. Nice. Um, so if you had, if you were to move into a content house, well, first, would you ever do that if you got big enough and people wanted you to? Uh, yeah, I would. I would be down to move into a content house. I'm not. Uh, it, it depends on who I'm with, though. Like, I got to really know them. Yeah, I was about to say, if you could pick five people, who would you pick to, to be in it with you? Um, if I had to pick five people that I hang out with. I mean, I, I guess they, you could pick just anybody. So, yeah. Uh, I would probably pick uh, Jude, Matthew, um... Dang, I don't really know. <laughs> Giancarlo. Giancarlo, Evan. Uh, Giancarlo, Evan. Okay, Jude, Matthew. Giancarlo, Evan. And then I would probably I would probably take my friend Rolando. He doesn't, really do, he doesn't really do social media, but I always hang out with him. Yeah. Um, do you have any funny stories about any of those guys? Giancarlo or any of the... Any uh, of the- Giancarlo... Man, we I that's who I first started hanging out with when I first started doing social media. That's a long, long time friend. I knew him on social media more than I did in person. And I ended up finally meeting him and went to San Antonio for a weekend, stayed with him. And that was probably one of the funnest weekends of my life. We went uh we went to a teen night called Pueblos and uh we uh we went there. We hung out that's the first time I met Matthew, I met Giancarlo. Mark, JR, all of them. And uh, it was just that night. Then we picked up Matthew. I think I stayed the night at Matthew's that night, too. So it was real fun just hanging out with all of them. Yeah. Do you guys ever uh, (laughs) – I was just wondering, do you guys ever, like, flex on each other? Like, like, uh, you're just at 30K when you're going to catch up? (laughs) Uh, uh, No, we don't really talk about it a lot. That's funny because I would totally mess with my friends about that. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. The first time uh, I actually met Matthews, uh, we took pictures. You could probably find it on my account. It was a, uh, it was at Pueblo's too. We were leaving. <laughs> yeah. Um, what is the best and worst thing about being an influencer? Uh, I think biggest perk of it, like the best thing, is uh, you get a lot of free things, a lot of free clothes, shoes. Uh, pretty much half of the stuff I own is from sponsors and just them sending to me stuff. But the downside is uh, you have to, like, 
watch what you do. You can't really do certain things. People might get mad. Uh, you could um. My one of my problems was uh, whenever I would get into a relationship, that they, they didn't like it because all the girls, <laughs> they hated it, and uh, just the hate they would get, you know. Yeah, it yeah, I've heard that from every single influencer. Yeah, it's a real struggle. Relationships are a real struggle with like doing what I do. <laughs> um, so do you have a girlfriend right now? No, I don't actually. And if you did, you might want to keep it secret. <laughs> yeah. Um, what are some uh, questions that girls are always asking you? That, uh, I imagine your DMs are kind of full. Uh, I'm not sure. Let me check. The most asked questions, the things that they, most asked they questions, man. <laughs> A lot of them would be like, "What's your Snapchat?" Or they would just, you know, be like, "Hey, you're really cute," type things. That type. Oh, that's thing. pretty chill. Yeah. Yeah. So. I was looking through your social media a little bit. I always do that before I do these. Mm -hmm. So a five one Latino is your type. <laughs> five one Latino. Mm. Five one Latina. You can hit me up. You know where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> you got the. You got a lot of stuff about uh, short Latino girls. Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was so funny. <laughs> I'm guessing you saw that on my TikTok or probably yeah. my reels. Yeah, on TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so let's I'm trying to think of questions girls would ask uh, or, or even guys too I guess because uh, yeah here's a question that got my ass uh, what kind of cologne you wear cologne I wear a red polo I've always wear red polo since cool. I was like, really young yeah so if you want to pull some girls that's how you do it what kind of what other advice would you have for uh, guys that uh, for, with girls um don't be shy. You always got to be confident if you talk to a girl. Like, you really can't be shy. Yeah, you seem super confident on your social media and stuff. Yeah. Like, you're what? you just naturally confident? Yeah. Real confident. High self-esteem, I guess. Cool. Um, what is your nationality? Um, well, I'm from America, but all of my, my whole family is, like, Mexican. And I know my mom has told me that we have, like, some Spaniard in us. It's like people from Spain. Mm -hmm. So I, I would say like Spaniard and Mexican. Cool. But, um, do you speak any other language than English or just English? Uh, no, I actually don't. My whole family speaks Spanish. I don't, I don't speak it. Like my mom never taught me. <laughs> um, how would you, uh, this question I never asked before, but then the last time I was with Angel Celestino, one of his yeah. fans, asked, and I thought it was interesting. Uh, his answer anyway uh, how would you describe your style my style um bipolar bipolar it's really bipolar i have <laughs> so many different styles more, um, more eclectic, yeah, eclectic i i've had the like the baggy clothes style i've had the the like basic style i have the there's just a bunch of different styles yeah, those clothes that they send you, have you ever pulled one out or, or some out and been like, oh, my God, I don't want to wear this? <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I've had some of them like that. Most of them <laughs> I really like, though, because most of them, they let me pick them. But some of them, they, they'll just send it, and it's like, it'll be like the color I don't like or something. Yeah, what is your favorite color? I have a guess. What's your well, favorite? Yeah, so I want to see your guess. Uh, Purple. Yeah, yeah, he was about to say it too. <laughs> yeah, I have um, I have like, I have low purples. I wear them when I first got them. Oh my gosh, I wear them every single day, like every day. Love yeah. them too. Those are like my dailies. My guess was purple or black. But that was yeah, <laughs> I wear a lot of black and purple. I like red too, but I would probably say my favorite color is like purple. I only noticed because my logo there is like purple and pink and black. So. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, a cool life uh, like life taco colors <laughs> yeah <laughs> but um so yeah uh what's a normal day look like for you um i i really spend a lot of a lot of time with my friends and especially since i'm not really close to anybody from san antonio um i just spend a lot of time here in the city where i'm from it's a real small city i think it only has like a hundred thousand people so i have a I have my friends here. We hang out. 
they're they're wild. They're wild. My friend Rolando here is with me. Actually, he's just chilling on my bed. He's wild, and he just got back from Mexico today. So they we we film every once in a while. We don't really film a lot though. Like I don't really try to base it a whole like a whole lot around me. It's basically like what we do. It's just daily with us. Yeah. I bet if you posted a ton more, you'd probably have a lot more. Because <laughs> you don't yeah. post and you already have like a really good following. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So you mentioned San Antonio. Where's some places that you've been? Um, I don't know if um, you've been a lot. And where's some places you want to go? I've been, okay. So I've been to San Antonio, Houston. San Antonio is really my favorite. I know a lot of people there. I, I just recently got back probably a week ago from Jude's. I was, I was at Jude's for a week. I stayed there at his house, hung out with Matthew for like a day with Giancarlo too. And it was it was it was pretty fun. And then the weekend right before that actually, uh Jude, Evan, and Enrique, they uh they drove down from San Antonio here at like ten at night and they stayed for I think a day or two. So they 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 had fun. They they came here, I showed them around town. They they weren't too fond of it though, because it was a real small city, they're not used to it. Um, Jude liked it. Jude wanted to stay more, but Evan and Enrique they were uh, homesick, so they just they left. Uh, I think the next night. I totally get that. I'm from a small town too, so yeah, like, I don't know how that is. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Jude's actually going to be on the podcast later. Jude and uh, Luigi, and yeah, you're from me too. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, how did you how did you meet uh, Matthew? You said you hung out like four or five times or something like. Um, uh, I met Matthew through my friend Giancarlo, actually. I knew Giancarlo before, like, really anybody. Mm-hmm. And that's one who I really talked to the most. And then there was eventually uh, one weekend where he was like, hey, just come for the weekend and stay with me. So I was like, yeah, I'm down. My mom drove me up there. And she was, like, saying her goodbyes. It was her first time ever letting me go to a place alone, actually. So um, she kind of just left me. And uh, I just stayed with Giancarlo. And... Like I said, we went to Pueblo's, and that's where I met Matthew. Cool. Um, did you meet Jude through uh, John Carlo also, or I met Jude that that actually the same weekend he came with Evan and Enrique. I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't close with Jude before that. So when he came down, I was like, "What's up, bro?" Like I, I didn't really know him, and then at the end, we ended up being real close friends. And the next weekend, I stayed a week with him. Yeah, you mentioned your mom. Uh, what does your family think about the, your kind of blowing up on social media? <laughs> like, is that weird? Um, a lot of my family doesn't really know about it. I don't really talk about it much. But my mom and, like, my mom and then, like, I think my aunt and all of them know. But, like, my grandma and grandpa, they probably wouldn't understand it. So uh, my mom, she's uh, she's cool about it. Like, she's in the other room. She, she was like, can I be on the podcast, too? <laughs> she's real funny. She, um... Yeah, she she works real hard for me, so she's uh she's she she's proud of me. She's proud of every, like the like the steps I've taken to get where I'm at. <laughs> yeah, that that's cute. If your mom wanted to pop in, she could. That that'd be fun. Yeah, <laughs> I, I could text her to come say hi. But um, I thought of some question while you were talking. Now I'm like, oh, I forgot it. <laughs> but um, let's see, what do I got on here? Um, oh. I know you play football. Do you play any other sports? Uh, I play baseball, and I played basketball last year. I didn't play this year, though. Um, do you work out at all? I know you're, you're yeah, um, team you do. At school, we have a we have open gym, and uh, during athletics period, we, we work out for, for the hour. So, yeah, I work out some. Not as much as Matthew. He's real ooh, he's big. Yeah, I was about <laughs> to say, like, he's gotten freaking huge. Yeah. <laughs> Um, let's see. <laughs> Did you, uh, this is one that pops up sometimes when I ask like what to talk to influencers about. So I'll ask it. Uh, have you ever been in a fight? In a fight? Yeah, I've been in a couple. I was, <laughs> I was real bad in middle school. <laughs> That's yeah. fine. Really social media kind of changed me around. Like I was really bad in middle school. <laughs> uh, did you win? <laughs> yeah, of course. Of course. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Uh, <laughs> You should get in a fight with Diego. He's always posting <laughs> stuff like that on there. Diego probably whooped me. Well, he's yeah. now. He probably couldn't. <laughs> he started a freaking like 
uh, OnlyFans the other day. As soon as he turned 18, he started that. I was like, what? Yeah. <laughs> I thought that was funny. Um, yeah. Do you have any um, funny DM stories, things that um, people ask people that uh, approach you with or whatever? Uh, Jabez had like tons of them when I asked him, like some lady wanted to give him a shower or something and let him live in her house for free and stuff like that. Do you ever get like kind of weird messages? There was, a, there was actually a, a DM the other day where this guy was like, um, I was looking at it. It was real weird. I was like, what the heck? Uh, he was, he was asking like, do you have a, like baby oil or a coconut, coconut oil in your house and rub it on your face and send me a picture for money. And I was like, nah, bro, that's weird. And I blocked him and he just kept texting me. And I was like, I don't know. It was in my request. And I was like, I was like, let me just text back. And I was like, I was like, nah, bro, that's weird. I can't even do that. <laughs> and, and I remember he just, um. I just blocked him. It was weird. <laughs> That's fun and weird face too. You'd think that at least they like chest or something like yeah, like, like a face fetish. Like what the <laughs> yeah, it was weird. <laughs> um, huh? Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's talk about some of your favorite things for a while. Favorite athletes and sports teams. Um, my favorite sport I would probably say is baseball I, I i really like baseball i played baseball since i was real little i haven't played in a while though but um my probably probably my favorite athlete is uh i don't know i watch basketball too so i mean i really like uh curry curry's a, he's he's pretty cool he's pretty cool cool uh music music oh oh man i listen to everything if I, I let me check my Spotify. Um, I listen to Drake, um, Kanye West, J. Cole, a lot of things, a lot of people. Oh, I don't think it's here Your, anymore. Uh, top fives that they chose for you for the year. Yeah, I don't think it's here anymore. Or is it? No, I think it went away because it's like that was like I was like two weeks ago, it was in there, right? Yeah, something no, like that. Uh, I listen to Drake, J. Cole, Kanye West, um. I'm trying to think. Oh, NBA Young Boy. I just I listen to a lot of different people. Nice. Uh, favorite movies. Movies. I don't know. Mm, I remember as a little kid, we used to always watch Polar Express in uh in school, like whenever Christmas time came around. So that's always been like in my like in my head. Just Polar Express. I remember oh, yeah. that. I watched that the other day. Yeah. Uh, favorite shoes. Shoes? Oh man, bro! I I could have Jordans for days. I love Jordans. I have those. I have those ones, the purples, and then I have fours that actually got sent to me from a from a company. Um, I can't remember the at, but they sent me those fours, the uh, black and red ones. You've probably seen on my on my page. Yeah, I have some blue ones. I wanted red, but they didn't have them, so I got blue. Yeah, ones. these actually, I think they just came out on the eighth. They were unreleased when I got them, so it was pretty cool. Yeah. Um, favorite cars, your dream car. What would that car, be? Oh, you know, I like me, my Dodge. I got, I want to get um, a Hellcat a SRT, but oh. a Charger. Yeah. It's, um, they're real fast. They have like 707 horsepower. <laughs> I've always liked those cars. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, favorite clothing brands. Um, Nike. Uh, I wear a lot of American Eagle, too. I wear that polo. Um, yeah, that's about it. You should be billing them. You, you're doing free advertising for them. <laughs> yeah. Um, did I ask you uh, places you'd like to travel to? Uh, you? I think you asked you asked me, but we didn't get to it. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. Where uh, Where would you like to go? Oh, I I'd love to go to L.A. I have a lot of friends over there. Um, like Zeon, Zeon, that's one of them. I just collaborated with him on uh, Instagram like two hours ago. Actually, we uh, uh-huh. we did that new feature where you um, you could like invite a collaborator and it shows up on both of your profiles. So it's mm-hmm. it's real cool. Yeah, so, there's uh, tons of influencers in Texas and California. Those are the two big places. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I used to. I w- I think we're gonna go to Miami this summer. Giancarlo actually invited me for uh, Rolling Loud. Mm-hmm. It's a concert. Um, I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure you know about it. Yeah, I think so. It's in July, 
So I got I probably gotta get my ticket soon. He invited me like two or three days ago. I remember. Yeah, I always tell people go to Vegas. That's like the funnest Vegas. place. Even if you're not like 21. I, Vegas, really actually, cool. my friend Joshua just got back from Vegas. Oh really? Um, if you if you've gone to my account, you've probably seen Joshua on my account. Yeah, I think so. He's um he's from Victoria, and uh, which is where I'm from. That's like me and him. We we basically blew up together. That's like that's my real close friend. Real close friend. Nice. So I, my hair started receding when I was when I'm st- like I'm still young and it's receded. <laughs> so I I'm jealous of your hair. Uh, yeah. I'm sure people are going to know, like what you put in your hair, or whatever. How do you get it to look cool and stuff like? Um, I honestly, I when I take a shower, I like um, I just like shake my head. And then I'll, I'll scrunch it up with the towel so I get it like dry, somewhat dry or like, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And then I put Cantu in it. I'll, I'll always use Cantu. Everybody says Cantu is not good for your hair, but I use it in my hair. It's, it's nothing happened to mine. Cantu, what is that? It's, um, uh, I can't find a bottle, but it's a, it's like a curling cream kind of. Oh. Like, it's like shea butter. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know that company, Shea? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it's like, it's, it's, it's like them, but it's Cantu. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, and you pe- people are, uh, always want to know about uh, your hair, Mark's hair. So, <laughs> so yeah. I was like, got to throw in the hair question. <laughs> uh, I, I am. I'm super jealous because I, I get this. I have this crap now. I'm like, ah. <laughs> yeah, I used to do everything. I did mohawks. I did all kinds of stuff. Like, Man, I'm afraid I'll get like that one day because my dad, he, he doesn't have much hair either. <laughs> and he's just my grandpa. So one day it's, it's coming. Yeah, I, my family all mostly have good hair. That's why, like, even when they're older, that's why I'm I'm mad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um, let's see. Uh, what's something that your supporters might be surprised to find out about you? Wait, uh, could you repeat that? What's something that your supporters might be surprised to find out about you? Something that they don't know? Um, I don't know. I really don't know. Probably, probably that I play baseball. I never really post about it. So, cool. yeah. What are some hobbies and interests that you have, like, that we haven't talked about so far? Um, Man, I used to love skating. I used to skate all the time, like, a lot. Um, I was pretty good at it. But my my board had broke probably, like, four or five months ago, and I stopped, I stopped skating. I haven't skated since. Oh, skateboarding. I, I thought you were talking about, like, actual, like, skating, like, on ice or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um. Let's see. So yeah, you posted that about the new duo you and uh, Z today. Like, yeah. how, how did you start interacting with him? How'd you meet him? Uh, I've known him since like long time ago. Long time ago. Uh, the, he was like one of the first ones I, I I ever met. You know what I mean? So it was uh him and a lot of other people that I first met. I think I met him in a group chat actually, where it was a bunch of influencers. Cool. So, are we gonna start seeing more of you guys together in the next? Uh, uh yeah, you should. I, I plan on going to LA soon. Cool. Uh, what are? Uh, do you have any like career in? Inter- you're only fourteen, so like it's yeah. not like Russian or anything. But do you have anything in mind that you're thinking of for like in the future? Something you'd like to do for like a career? Um, I plan. I plan. It's always been like my dream to like do YouTube and like just do the social media because I really don't want to work like a nine to five job, like. I do want to finish high school. Like, I want to get my diploma, but I want to like, I want to mainly focus on social media. That's like my been my main goal. It's always been that. Yeah, and there's only gonna be more platforms and stuff in the future and stuff too. Yeah, your starting point right now is <laughs> real nice. Like, yeah, thousand on like TikTok and Instagram. So I mean, mm-hmm. like you, you're only going up from there. So yeah. Assuming you don't get a girlfriend, no, just fine. <laughs> yeah, those those would be a real setback. <laughs> I remember I I had I did get a girlfriend at like the start of it, and it just I lost like two thousand followers, but we ended up breaking up. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Are you looking for a girlfriend now, or focusing more on? Um, not really, but I'm mainly focused on social media. I really plan on like, um, cause I I did take like a really big break recently. But I do plan on coming back, and being more active like I was before, because I remember when at the start of it, I would go live for like three hours sometimes. Like I would go live for a really long time. That's really how I blew up. 
there was one time where I was live with um, my friend Alex, Nicole, and um, who else was in it? Just, uh, just y'all. I think it was just us three. And uh, um, who was it? It was Blessed. Blessed rated our live, and we got like over a thousand people in there. It was like three thousand like people, and like you had to think. I was like, I had like nine k or eight k, and I was like. That's a lot of people. <laughs> I was like, I was really surprised on what happened. And everybody said that it was Diego rating me. But they ended up saying it was it was a uh, blessing. And I I ended up texting him after. I was like, thanks, bro. Like I was like, it was it was really like a because I ended up gaining a thousand followers off that live. Yeah, it was like it was a lot. I ended up texting him after. I was like, thanks, bro. And he was like, You're welcome. Like, you know, he was he was doing a live where he does a he does like they, they go raid like really like underground influencers lives and he ended up doing mine it was really unexpected dang that's cool that could yeah. like meet somebody doing something like that for them yeah, it it is. Is. really motivated me yeah um let's take some of your supporters questions you sent me some of them that they asked you um let's see how you got famous we, we know that and are you happy that you are am i happy uh yes honestly i, I really am like they they show a lot of love they motivate me to do a lot of things so they um they just really they really support me so it motivates me a lot yeah um they asked one about your music we already talked about that oh um i like to mention the people that asked you to um the one that asked you about are you happy is it's dot underscore dot or no it's dot underscore no dot one the spelled out and then the number one. Oh, that's confusing that's hard to say yeah <laughs> um, this, this is from Sylvia underscore Basurto underscore. Uh, she has. Have you lost your V card? <laughs> you um, don't have to answer that if you don't want to. <laughs> but, no comment. No comment. <laughs> um, let's see. Alex dot i s x i a h h said, "Where do you see yourself in five years?" Um, in five years, I really see myself, um, I hope I see myself in like a, like really wealthy, like successful YouTuber or like, you know, anything really successful, I hope. And, uh, I just, I've always wanted to have like a really big house and like nice cars, you know? Yeah. Uh, Kayla underscore Loban or Loban or Loban. She said, what's your favorite color? Purple. <laughs> Purple. But thanks for asking, Kayla. Um, let's see. N Y X E E N E. She said, let me slurp them babies. Okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah, these questions are wild. I told you, they, they can get wild in my questions. They really can. This one is done effed up, except for there's a dot after the F. They asked how you're doing this year. We basically answered that. Uh, Shelby Heads 567 asked what your favorite pick is. I guess the ones that you've posted on social media. Um, My favorite picks actually um, were the ones in the Selena shirt. I really like those. I don't know why. I just I really have. You could probably you could go on my account and you could see them. I was wearing a Selena shirt with uh, black pants and those fours, the Red Thunders I have. <laughs> I just really like those. I, I've used them in like every almost every tiktok that i made where i show a picture yeah i noticed that the same yeah. <laughs> coming up every they, time they, they really acknowledge the selena shirt too if you go look in the comments they they're all like they all like the selena shirt that's <laughs> all they talk about in the comments they don't even talk about me they talk about the selena shirt <laughs> um let's see and then wasof underscore i guess is how you'd say that um or Husof maybe Husof. i think that's what it is um what are your favorite things to do in your free time? We already talked a little bit about that. Do you have anything else to add? Uh, in my free time, honestly, I just, yeah, I just really hang out with friends. I hang out with Rolando the most. He's really one of my closest friends. Uh, like when I was gone, when I was gone to San Antonio, he commented on my TikTok, I miss you, bro. Like he, we were real close. Like we've always been close since like real, real young. Like I think I met him when I was in like fourth grade, fifth grade. I think it was fourth grade because I had just moved back here. I had moved to Georgia for like a year, I think. 
I was born here, and then when I turned eight, I moved to Georgia for a year. I went to school there and stuff, and then we ended up moving back. So then when I moved back, that's when I met him. Yeah, I'm originally from Georgia, so. Yeah, uh, I had lived in um, Savannah. Oh, Savannah. Yeah, I lived in Rome, Georgia, so it's not too far away. Yeah. I like that. Um. Yeah, I really liked it over there. Uh, I, honestly, if I could move back, I would, but it's not really the thing I would do. There's not really a lot of people over there that do social media. Yeah, I like Atlanta. I don't really like the smaller parts. <laughs> well, I remember one time uh, in Savannah, me and my aunt, because my aunt had lived over there for a while, we had uh, we went downtown because um, Adam Sandler and like a bunch of real famous actors were in town because they were filming a movie over there. I think it was Baywatch, actually. And uh, we ended up meeting Adam Sandler over there. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, you said your friend's name's Rolando? Is that what you said? Yeah, Rolando. You could probably see him in... Uh, you, in, pop in, in me? <laughs> you, anyway. you sure you don't want to pop up in here? He could pop up and say you something. In here? Not one second. You talking about Rolando? How you doing, Rolando? Yeah, it was good. <laughs> you want to <laughs> you wanna plug your social media on here while you're on here? Uh, tell them where to find you? Uh, where to find you? <laughs> while you look... Oh. <laughs> I uh, can't really, Rolando underscore too valid. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> okay. and, uh, plug yours. Uh, and here we go. Yeah. Your Instagram. They love uh, Jake. And then uh, slash slash. Is that your real name, by the way? Jake? Jake? Yeah, that's my real name. A lot okay. of people ask me. It's like unique. Yeah, it is. It's a really unique spelling. That's why I was like, yeah. that's real almost. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah, and then your backup is J A A Y Y K K K K. Yeah, I couldn't. Well, I really want my backup to be um, unique, but I couldn't really think of a name, so I tried to put my just my just my name right, and it was took. So then I tried to put like two Ks, and it was took. So then I tried putting two Ys, and it was took. So then I ended up just spamming them, and that's what I ended up with. <laughs> um. Cool. And uh, for anybody that doesn't know you, um, what kind of stuff do you post on there? Uh, man, I post everything. On YouTube, you can really find, like, different things. I um, I posted a video recently. Uh, we went to the gallery in Houston, and we were diamond testing people's uh, diamonds. Mm -hmm. And then... J -Will. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We were, uh, there was a lot of people that, that had real diamonds and fake diamonds, and it, it was real fun. And then there was... Um, there was one time where my friends, I titled it, my friends kidnapped me for a day, and this is what happened. And uh, we ended up, we ended up falling asleep in the car and ended up at like a river, and we were started fishing. <laughs> so, so it was real, it was real like random. Uh, we we've done a never have I ever. Have you done never have I ever? Yeah. Yeah, we've done never have I ever. And then y'all did a Q&A. We, uh, we did a Q&A. We've done, uh, recently, I did it with Rolando, actually. I think that's the first video he was in. We did um, Silent Library, where y'all all have to be, like, quiet. And we throw up, a, like, a bunch of cards. And all, like, I think it was, it was, like, four of us. Four of them were safe, and then one of them wasn't. Whoever got the one that wasn't had to pick a dare. And whatever the dare was, they had to do. And we actually did it in a, uh, we did it in a jack-in-a-box, because uh, the library was closed that day. <laughs> It was, it was real wild. That sounds like really good stuff. I haven't watched all that yet, but and yeah. I didn't see your channel, and uh, I'm going to subscribe after this. I forgot to. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that sounds like really funny stuff. Like, how often yeah. do you post on there? Wait, what? How often do you post on there? Um, I had started posting like eight or nine months ago. I posted like three times in one week then, and then I took like a five or six month break. Like, I stopped posting. And just recently, I think like two months ago, I started posting again, and I posted like five videos, six videos maybe in the past like, in the past um like two months. I post, I try to post every week, but sometimes I get real busy and I can't really edit. So uh, I usually try to, I try to post every week, but sometimes it didn't end up like that. Yeah, editing takes so long, and I don't okay. even do anything real fancy. Yeah. Right? I just do a little bit. So editing is so. I want to hire somebody for that. Oh yeah. <laughs> I wish I could hire somebody for that, too. Yeah, so you put a lot of work into that from the stuff that you do to the editing and yeah. stuff. So make sure 
if you're a fan of his that you follow him uh wavy jk uh, is his youtube and then i'm also going to put that in the bio too so yeah um, then you got your other stuff you got tiktok you're all over social media <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm everywhere it's jay jay garcia is my tiktok just two a's uh-huh. and then my snap's wavy jake yep got that on there for you and i'm gonna put all this information in the bio so they'll be able to find that um What's a, a message or what, what would you like to say for your supporters? Um, the people that um, um, all your stuff, follow all your stuff. What do you got to I say? Know a lot of them that have stuck around for like since the beginning. I know a bunch of them. Um, I remember I had a, I had a TikTok account before this. I it had, um, I was real close to 100K. I think I had like 70 something K. And uh, I ended up losing that account to uh, guideline violations. And um, losing that, it was a real setback, but I had got the, I, oh, I lost that like two days after we left San Antonio. I lost I lost that like two days after my birthday. So we had went to San Antonio for my birthday. Rolando was there. And um, uh, we went for the weekend. Kaden Marchand was there. Uh, Jazz was there. And um, it was a real fun weekend. We did a lot of things. But uh, yeah, I ended up losing that TikTok. But um, a lot of people that were, that had that TikTok ended up finding my new TikTok. So a lot of them were from my old TikTok. Or they, they came to my new TikTok. That's why I'm really trying to just build up my new TikTok now. Just get it back to where I was. Yeah, so they've been really loyal to you then. They oh, followed yeah. that long. and they yeah, followed- A lot of them are real loyal. I've <laughs> uh, been stuck around since like March, April. Yeah, that's cool. Um yeah, it's nice to have a fan base that that loyal and follow you wherever you go. Yeah. <laughs> um, I hope that I get more fans. So <laughs> please subscribe to the channel. Make sure you do that. I got Luigi Satina coming up. Got Jude Flores. I got uh, a senator. That's kind of funny. Throw him in there. <laughs> a professional wrestler, Gino Medina, all kinds of people. Uh, more social media influencers and fitness influencers. So please make sure you subscribe to the channel. That helps me get really cool guests like like uh, Jake here and uh, Mark Gomez I've had before, Angel yeah. Satino, uh, or Cel- Celestino. His name's a little bit hard. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, thanks for coming on. Um, it was really cool talking to you. You'll have to come back sometime. Yeah, it was, thanks for inviting me, for real. Uh, I actually didn't see your DM for a while. It, I think it was like a couple of days, and I ended up looking through my requests, and I found them. Yeah, it took yeah. Uh, Mark like a year to get back to me. So. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I try to check my requests uh, every once in a while to see what people have to say. 